Okay, in this question we have a function, and our function is 5 add, two, uh, 5 add e to the power of 2x subtract 3, and our domain x can be any number at all. It asks us to state the range of f for one mark, so it's something we should know fairly easily. Okay, so what you should know is you should know that the e to the x graph in general looks like the following. That's y equals e to the power of x, and it crosses here at 0, 1, and it goes off to infinity in that direction and goes down to 0 in that direction. Now, this graph here has been uh, transformed. It's been shifted up 5 units. So it would be shifted up 5 units, so it would cross now at 0, 6, and it would asymptote off here to... Uh, y is equal to 5, as follows. Now, there might be some uh, uh, squashing, etc., of the x-axis, but you know it looks like that's been shifted up 5. So therefore, what y values can it take? Well, f of x must be bigger than 5. Now, be very careful. With a normally to the x graph, the f of x would be bigger than 0. No matter how far along you go down here, it never actually touches the x-axis uh, i.e. f of x is never actually 0. And similarly here, it never actually gets to 5. So make sure that whatever you do, you don't write bigger than or equal to 5 because it can never equal 5. It's just strictly bigger than 5 like that. Okay, next. We're asked to find an expression for the inverse and we're asked to state its domain. Now, one thing I'd like you to think about immediately when you're doing this, stating the domain of the inverse. Now, the domain of the inverse will be the range of f would be equal to the domain of the inverse. Now, because in part A we, we know the range of f, we know the domain. And the domain is going to be x is bigger than 5. So this is an easy part of it. But let's find the expression. So what we do is we let y equal to e uh, to the 2x subtract 3 add 5. And you'll notice I just changed the, the order of those. There's no harm in doing that. Now we're going to swap x and y. So x is equal to 2, e to the 2y, subtract 3, add 5. Now I'm going to make y the subject. So I'm going to subtract 5 off both sides. I'm going to take natural logarithms of both sides. And I'm going to make y the subject here, adding 3 and dividing by 2. So I can say that y is equal to the natural logarithm of x take away 5, add 3, all divided by 2. And I state my inverse function. f minus 1 of x is therefore the natural logarithm of x take away 5, add 3, all divided by 2. Now the domain. Well, x can be a real number. We know that. But the domain is equal to the range of the original function and the range of the original function is bigger than 5 so therefore x is a real number and x is strictly bigger than 5 is our domain which we've stated okay for part c solve the equation f of x is equal to 7 so we're going to solve the equation um, f of x which is e to the power of 2x subtract 3 add 5 is equal to 7 take 5 off both sides so e to the 2x subtract 3 is equal to 2. Take natural logarithms of both sides. 2x subtract 3 is equal to the natural logarithm of 2. And add 3 and divide by 2. So x is going to be the natural logarithm of 2. Add 3, all divided by 2, as follows. And that's our solution to that part there. And lastly, find an equation for the tangent to the curve y equals f of x, where y is 7. So we know, for part d, that y is equal to, uh, the function was uh, e to the 2x, subtract 3, add 5. And we want to find an equation of the tangent. So we need the gradient. So um, And also, sorry, at the point y is 7. Now when y is equal to 7, um, we had already solved that up here. Look, because we had solved f of x is equal to 7, that's y equals 7. When y is 7, we know that x is equal to the ln 2, add 3, all divided by 2. So you're supposed to spot that. You could obviously solve this as 7, but you've just done that. So that was the whole link in this question. So let's work out dy by dx. 
dy by dx is equal to, um, you differentiate the exponent, which would be 2e to the 2x subtract 3, and you differentiate 5 and it just disappears. Now we want to work out the gradient of, let's have a look here again, the gradient of the tangent when y is 7. So we want to work out dy by dx when y is 7, and that's when x is this. So when x is equal to the natural logarithm of 2, add 3, all divided by 2. So we're going to substitute that in here. So 2e to the power of 2, ln 2, add 3, all divided by 2, take away 3, like that. Now the 2's cancel here. There's a 2 on the numerator and the denominator. So you get 2e to the power of ln 2, add 3, and then take away 3, like that. Don't forget the takeaway 3's here. So that's just 2e to the ln 2. And e to the ln 2 is 2. So that's 2 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 4. So we have our gradient, m. That's our gradient. So we use y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1. And so we say y subtract 7, the point. So our coordinate, remember, was ln 2 add 3 over 2 and 7. So y subtract 7 is equal to 4 x subtract ln 2 add 3 all divided by 2 like that no harm in leaving your answer like that you weren't asked to give it in a specific form but you could multiply the 4 out and say that y subtract 7 is 4 x 4 times this half would be 2 so subtract 2 ln 2 add 3 but it was absolutely fine to leave your answer like that so don't do a step you're not sure of unless uh, you know you can do it there was no request to leave it in a certain form so the answer was absolutely fine like that